Uh, it's a good day, it's such a wet day. Otherwise, I'd feel nervous seeing you all, all here in one place. <laughs> um, thank you all for being here. Uh, uh, I want to recognize and thank Mike Rogers, who is not only the president of the Colorado Professional Firefighters, uh, but also president of the Elk Creek uh, Fire Department Board of Directors. So, and not to mention, he's also back from my, not, my dates with him, days with him, uh, Denver Firefighters. So, he and I go back a long way. I've gone through very many, many difficult negotiations, which I think we can say every time turned out turned out pretty well for both of us. Yes, it did. We were always able to find the right compromise. Uh, also, want to thank the Elk Creek uh, Fire District for hosting us today. Uh, the other fire districts for joining uh, the Inner Canyon Fire Protection Group. Uh, I gather you guys are from several different. Are you, you're not all Elk Creek, right? Yes, we are so all Elk Creek. Yeah. <laughs> They're down. I got it. Oh God, got all of you in one place. I'm, I'm now I'm really nervous. Um, so Colorado, and I think you guys all know this, but we are uh, home to 400, almost 400 uh, different fire uh, fire districts. Uh, although a number of those are career de districts, uh, career departments, the majority are, are volunteer. Uh, many fire departments, especially the rural fire departments, uh, don't have sufficient funding to be able to purchase the uh, the right equipment to make sure that we're protecting firefighters in the, the many, many different uh, situations they find themselves. So as we know, oftentimes the, 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 the appropriate uh, and proper equipment is very expensive. Uh, and because of that, I think in many departments we end up with a, a shortage of gear. Um, we've seen that we've had, uh, in some cases, higher rates of cancer among firefighters uh, because of uh, exposure to carcinogens. Uh, what Senate Bill 46 is going to do is create a grant program to invest in uh, essential equipment for, uh, you know, uh, to make sure that both fighting fires and also in training uh, that we're protecting our firefighters who we depend on to protect us. Um, this, I think this bill, small step, but it, 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 it's, a, it's a strong step in, in making sure we recognize that those folks who are keeping us safe, we have a responsibility uh, as a community to make sure we keep them safe. So it's a, it's a two-way street. Uh, this legislation was sponsored and proposed and, and pushed forward by uh, Senator Jeannie uh, Nicholson uh, and Representative Tony Exum. Tony Exum was going to be here, he couldn't get here, uh, but Senator Nicholson is here. I thought we'd better ask her to say a few words. Thank you. I'm Senator Jeannie Nicholson. I chair the Wildfire Matters Review Committee for the legislature. And during testimony last year, I learned that firefighters were at a much higher risk, disproportionately higher risk, of uh, various kinds of cancers, 100% um, higher risk of testicular cancer, several kinds of uh, skin cancer, and other cancers. My background's in public health nursing, so I was absolutely appalled when I heard that. My first reaction was, these guys are the good guys. These are the community heroes, and they protect us. So we have to protect them. It's very important, I think, that we were able to get the money so that we could make sure that if you need and don't have um, access to the right bunker gear, um, access to the right training, that we're able to provide that. You're protecting all of us, not only uh, from structure fires, but also from wildfires at this point. So we need you to be safe, and we care about you. So it was very important for us uh, to learn as much as we could about how we could keep you safe. I also um, wanted to send um, uh, regrets from uh, Representative Exum. He uh, wasn't able to be here today, but certainly wanted to be here. Um, and he asked me to read this statement to you. I believe our firefighters all around the state are worth the investment from state government to help improve their safety. Proper equipment and training are vital in protecting our firefighters from cancer-causing carcinogens. So thank you very much for your service. We're very proud of you, and we're delighted to offer something to you to keep you safe. Thanks. Sure. Getting language into this bill uh, and setting up criteria. Peer reviewers, similar to they do with the federal grant programs, that are very successful. 
So I think we've, we're using a, a model uh, in this that's worked in the country right here with this grant program. Paul's got a lot to do with making sure we, we've got that language as well as the senator allows to put that language in the bill. So I have full confidence that this money will be used, get to firefighters, get to fire departments, and go to good use in this state uh, by all our roles um, together working on this bill. Another thing we've done together is we've built a coalition in this state that's in no one's memory, no one has ever known the Colorado Professional Firefighters, the Colorado State Fire Chiefs, the Division of Prevention and Control, CML, uh, Kevin Bomber, the lobbyist for CML, helped us out a lot with this bill. Ann Terry from SDA has worked with us a lot. We have built a coalition where those groups are all working together, not only with this bill, but other legislation and other efforts to make better use of state funding and programs for firefighters in the state. Uh, that type of coalition is unheard of. Uh, it's never happened here in our knowledge, so uh, I'm really proud of that. Gary Breeze, Executive Director of the Colorado State Fire Chiefs, is here also. He's played a vital role in that, as well as some of the other chiefs that are leaders in the Colorado State Fire Chiefs. Uh, all of us working together have made a big difference, and as the governor has stated, uh, the relationship that when I was the Denver local president and he was the Denver mayor, we built, the city was in tough financial times, we had to forge a partnership there. There was trust involved. The union had to make concessions. Uh, when times were right, the city stepped forward back and made the firefighters whole. Uh, the whole time that Governor Hickman Looper was mayor of Denver, it was important to him to make sure that we kept that good working relationship and that the Denver firefighters were taken care of, rewarded for their concessions. Uh, he has done that. As he left, new mayors come in. Uh, they like the way that that partnership and that working together the city wins, the citizens win, the firefighters win. We built that model here in Denver starting back in 03 during difficult times. I have taken that to the next level here in the state. I think these gentlemen will tell you that type of coalition and working together uh, in areas where we can has come a long way and I believe it will really help all the firefighters uh, in the entire state. So thank you all for that. Thank you to the governor's staff for coming up here uh, to sign this bill. I have a lot of places to pick from. I think it's great that they chose Elk Creek, and I really appreciate it. And thank everyone else for coming. Great. All right, let's make a walk. <laughs> One last step left. Look at us, firefighter panorama. <laughs>